Now, fintech has made banking so easy and simple and more customer focused rather than, oh, which is way better than the traditional banks that just holds people's money. So with traditional banks, consumers just watch or just go in the banking app just to view their balances and their accounts. Whilst on the other side, on digital banking or with these fintech companies, they can do a wide range of things in their platform. They can save, invest and borrow, which is something that is truly amazing because it gives so many opportunities or oh, so many things that the customer would do in that single platform and with fintech companies like sofi technologies which is becoming a one-stop shop for all things relating to digital banking we can all agree that this company is set to do very well as uh, consumers can come in or log in in uh, one platform and do so many things like they can invest save borrow and even spend their money which is something that is truly amazing and which is why it separates itself from the other traditional banks this is one of the things that is making sofi technologies to stand out this is why so many of the consumers are also liking this sofi banking apps as they are able to do so many things in this one or on that one banking app which is something that is truly amazing and it's going to continue to attract more customers into coming and want to invest into this company now to show the kind of demand that this software technologies is experiencing in terms of consumers or customers in the q2 or for the q2 of 2021 we saw the numbers of the customers doubling which is something that is truly amazing and encourages you to see the kind of demand that this company it is seeing in terms of customer coming in and doing or putting their money into this platform. Now in March of 2021, Sofi Technologies acquired a company by the name of Golden Pacific Bank Corp for about 22.3 million US dollars. Now this is going to make it or this or to make it easier for Sofi Technologies to go ahead and acquire that national banking charter that they've always been looking for or that they are eyeing as that will be an, a gate opener for so many things so with that banking charter or that national banking charter that they are aiming for will make or will make it easy for SoFi to generate some good revenue which is something that is truly amazing according to the presentation that SoFi technologies did around january they indicated that without a banking charter they will be able to report adjusted EBITDA earnings of around 254 million uh, US dollars in 2022 but with the banking charter they are able to report or that revenue could increase to 447 million for the year 2022 which just has to show you what a banking charter can do uh, to this company like SoFi Technologies which is why now it's a good time or now it's a the perfect time for you to go out there and want to add this stock because when the banking charter uh, comes or when they get the final approval of that banking charter or that national banking charter then it slides out for this company they will be able to generate more revenue which is why they predicted or which is why in that presentation they did in january they highlighted the kind of growth that can come with the banking charter which ought to motivate you to probably look into this stock or add it to your portfolio now before they actually get that banking charter because like i said after that banking charter it's lights out for this stock we might see the share price reacting or going higher and higher which is something that i believe investors will like or it will reward those investors that are busy probably considering adding this stock to your to their portfolio now otherwise for the q2 of 2021 this software technologies reported a 74 percent revenue increase when comparing to the q2 of uh, 2020 or for the year 2020 which is something that is truly amazing because uh, this resulted in them reporting a total revenue for the quarter of around 231.2 million us dollars which is something that is truly amazing as it is like i said 74 percent when comparing to the total revenue they reported in the q2 of 2020. now one thing which resulted in the share price or in the stock price of sofi technologies to drop as you would know that before the earnings result this stock was recovering quite well as it was over 17 us dollar per stock it was when they reported a wider than expected loss and this loss was due to the acquisition or to the 1.2 acquisition 
of the infrastructure service provider called Gilileo, which resulted in that wider than expected loss. Now, this company, irregardless of the wider loss that they reported due to this acquisition, I definitely believe or I personally believe that this is a stock with some strong fundamentals around it. This is a stock that even when you are investing on it, you know that you are investing in the stock with some strong fundamentals, which is why I am relaxed and comfortable when I invest in companies like SoFi Technologies. Now, as I've said, this is a company which is said to do very well. And once uh, things like the banking charter, or once they get the final approval of the banking charter, then it slides out for this company. They are going to be able to generate more and more revenue. And this is a company that's doing well already without the banking charter. As, I, as I've told you that even the customer or the membership uh, figures has doubled when we look or comparing uh, to the figures they reported last year in the Q2 of 2020. Now, this company, guys, one of the things that is it bringing so much interest into investors, even when they invest into this company, is the fact that, like I always tell you, it is becoming a one-stop shop for all things relating to digital banking because customers or consumers who use this or who bank with this uh, SoFi Technologies app, they can save, borrow, invest, and spend, which is something that is truly amazing and something that you will never find in the traditional banks, which makes SoFi technologies to stand out from the other uh, traditional banks so this has to motivate you or show you the kind of growth or the kind of good things that this uh, banking app provides to its customers otherwise this company currently has a moderate buy with two analysts saying buy this stock whilst other is saying hold and it has the following 12 months price predictions now this company currently has a low price target or low 12 months price target of around $16.50 with an average purchase or with an average target price of around $23. And it has a high 12 months price target of around $30. US Now from the average 12 months price prediction of around $23.17, we can all see or you can see that this is an almost 52% upside, meaning that if you are to invest into this company, right now you might see yourself sitting over 50 percent in the next coming 12 months which is something that is truly amazing and ought to motivate you to stay long into this company now so far technologies it's one of the companies that i have started investing in or it's in my portfolio because i believe on where it's going and it is a company that i'm looking at really piling more or investing more also into this company because it's just said to do very well. I mean, this is the company that is, that is taking digital banking to the next level, which is why I believe they will win in this or they will be one of the winners in this growing fintech industry. Otherwise, I personally believe that before you could add this stock into your portfolio or increase your holdings, please go out there and do your own due diligence onto this stock so that you can comfortably invest into this stock. Otherwise, with all that, guys, I make tons and tons of stock market investing videos and if you think that this video was amazing, please don't forget to hit that like button and if you are new, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on the notification bell so that YouTube can notify you every time I release a video. Otherwise, that's all from me and I wish you nothing but the best in your stock market investing journey and God bless you all.